has tied up with cities across the globe for twin city status. Yes. Whatever it means, I don't know, yes. you must explain. Yes. How does the mayor function in these cities? I think very really interesting. I will give you an example. Recently, we had um, a delegation come from San Francisco. Some of us went to London uh, to see their functioning. And let me just give you an example of what happened in London. Uh, so London mayor is like the president of United States. He essentially runs the city. In fact, many cities, the mayors end up becoming the prime ministers and president of the state. In Latin American cities, almost invariably, uh, mayor of Bogota became the president of Colombia. Similarly, the same thing happened in Venezuela. Mm -hmm. uh, if you pick up any newspaper in UK, Boris Johnson is considered the de facto candidate uh, for the prime minister. And why? Because First of all, cities are very, very important, not for the states, even for the countries. London is as important uh, to United Kingdom as Bangalore is important to Karnataka. London goes down, UK goes down, both economically and otherwise. So these mayors essentially come with huge responsibility. And they are also given the same time the power and the means by the constitution, by their uh, municipal act, to act like the CEOs of the company. They are the ones, mayor's job is not essentially in Bangalore context to fix the potholes. That is a job, administrative job. Mayor is a CEO. Yes. He is the person who needs to vision. He has to imagine what Bangalore should be. He should plan 20 years. He should be the person who should think my city needs to be essentially the best city. I mean, every city is competing for the investment. Look at India, Gujarat, Ahmedabad. Everybody is talking about Ahmedabad. There was a time, I think I remember during SM Krishna's time, I was part of several IT delegations. We went abroad and that time Chandrababu Naidu was trying to uh, get investment uh, into uh, Hyderabad. And everywhere we went and we told them, our city is better city than Hyderabad. Bangalore is better. Today, neither we are invited by the government to pitch for our city, so we don't go anywhere. Of course, government does some uh, investors meet which essentially is uh, you know last day it was our steel meet and uh, Bangalore has lost out. Now mayor's job is to make sure that plan for the city and get it executed through administrative mechanism. Bangalore London mayor essentially is in charge of there's something called London transport, there's a London metro, there is a London uh, you know uh, power, everything. London water supply same is true with uh, San Francisco. I wonder whether our mayors even understand these kind of uh, you know issues which are about vision planning. So I think there is no comparison and in fact sister city and twin city the status which you talk about is a joke. Very good. Mr. Mishra, as you rightly said earlier, the mayor's post reserved for various categories, caste, religion, gender, what not. So every year one category benefits. Is that why the political class prefers a one term mayor for uh, one year term for mayor? So that everybody gets a chance. I have my views on this process of reservation, and I think people who have been really, uh, you know, at the receiving end for the social reasons or whatever, they need to be given support support for education, support in the job. But Positions like mayor or tomorrow you will say prime minister's position is reserved for uh, something. Shouldn't it be based on the qualification? Shouldn't it be based on the person, what he has done for the city? Do we know what the current mayor had done for Bangalore to be eligible to be elected? Or for that matter, I read today's newspaper, somebody is telling this man will get elected because he is the man of uh, Ashoka. This guy will get elected because he is close to Shattar. This man will get elected because he represents this community. What kind of nonsense is this? I think in this year's there is some special category BCA. That person, there are only six people eligible in BJP, the ruling party. Now from 200, we have found only six because the only those six meet the criteria of the caste. Now having the caste criteria met, now you have to meet the criteria of whose favorite you are. Now nobody is talking about the people's credentials. What has he done? Has that person's ward been awarded as the best ward? What will he do if he has not done for his ward? What will he do for Bangalore? So I think this is, I mean, this discussion about a mayor of Bangalore 
has no meaning because mayor of Bangalore itself has no meaning. Good. Mr. Mishra, there are several aspirants for the mayor's post this time. Who do you think is or are the ideal candidates? I think, as I said, um, these six candidates which have been um, chosen, not that they are not better candidates, uh, but they, they are not even eligible because it is reserved for a certain category. Uh, and out of these six, unfortunately, uh, I have not heard uh, much uh, about anybody. I have not heard what they have done. In fact, I try to dig uh, what they have done for their wards. There used to be a corporator in Hanumant Nagar who used to do very good. His ward always used to be the best ward. But I do not think uh, there is any criteria this time on what basis they will be elected. I have not heard much about them. Of course, I know because uh, some of them have been, uh, you know, uh, part of the party and things like that and I get to hear from other people. But I would like to know from the citizens, I would like to know from the residents of those wards, is there a poll which says that, okay, this person who is standing for the mayor, I am very happy with him as corporator? There is nothing like that. So there is no citizens participation. It is a game being played between few uh, influential people in the BJP and they just want to make sure the person who has been loyal to them, he gets elected and I do not know what they expect him to give in return after they elect him. And no wonder uh, after mayors get elected, uh, Bangalore goes downhill. That is nice. Mr. Mishra, given the limited powers and limited term, what do you think the mayor can do and should do for the betterment of Bangalore? I understand given the current uh, constitution, the mayor is only for one year and I will not blame, uh, does not matter how good you are, you are not going to fix the problem of the city in a short term of one year. However, what I can expect a mayor to do and I think that is what they should do, it is a very, very respectable post. The name itself we call worshipful mayor. Yes. You should behave in a dignified manner. It's the simplest thing. You, you, nobody expect anything better from you. You should not be asking free passes. I will come to that later. Mm -hmm. And at least work with people. Mayor is the first citizen of the city. You have 200 corporators. Well, they are there. They are representing the council. The mayor should constitute a citizen's advisory body. You pick up 20 people from the city who you have seen or pick up the newspaper you will know who are the people who have been trying to do something for the city, call them, set up a citizen advisory council or mayor's cabinet you call it and that body does not need to be one year term. Mayors can keep coming and going but that body can be the advisory council to the mayor which advise mayor that what is good for the city. It will be infrastructure, it will be planning, it will be heritage, it could be transport, it could be employment, poor housing, those kind of things. So, mayor given one year term is very short. We do not expect the mayor to do wonders, but mayor can put the institution in a place where despite the mayor not being there, these kind of institutions survive and they advise because these are the people who have no political agenda. You pick up 20 people from the city. Experts. Experts. experts subject matter experts, the civic uh, people. Uh, the good citizens, yes. that is what I am saying, the yes. people and Bangalore has no dearth of them. I mean, you have been a journalist, you know and you know, mayor also does not need to do much. Of course, do not go and look from people from your party, uh, you know, you have plenty of them. Mm -hmm. Just look at the newspapers and see who is doing what in the city, resident welfare association, civic activists, just get well-meaning people, mm -hmm. architects. Bangalore has become so dirty, Bangalore has no aesthetic sense, there is no heritage uh, you do not know if you go to the palace, you have to go through a lot of garbage to reach there, those kind of things. Mr. Mishra, the mayor and the BBMP commissioner are always at loggerheads. That is why commissioners do not last long in their seats. What is the genesis of this war? I would say that, um, of course, I will not know uh, how much fight they are having, uh, but Yes, uh, I am uh, aware that mayors want something and commissioners want something which is expected in any setup. I think the delineation of power and the responsibility between the mayor and the commissioner is very confusing. Uh, commissioner is the executive head, 
he represents the executive wing uh, of the you know uh, BBMP, and there is no reason for the two to be at loggerheads. Since the mayor is transitory in nature, the mayor is only for one year. Mayors only many a times I say mayor is interested in how much money I am getting into my quota, into my ward. If that is the job of a mayor to try to get maximum money to improve his or her ward, I don't think he can be considered mayor of the city. Now, if that is the situation, a mayor asks 100 crores for his or her ward, I think commissioner is well within his right to say thank you very much, I can't do it because I have to take care of 100 wards and why your ward? If there is a requirement, please convince me. There is a requirement, maybe I will work at it. And why your ward deserves it better than other wards? So, I feel that commissioner uh, being, uh, you know, a little bit tough on those kind of demands is understandable. But at the same time, uh, mayor is the elected representative of the city and it will be in the best interest of the city that two work together. Uh, Mr. Mishra, if the BJP it is a hypothetical uh, question. If the BJP loses the assembly election next year, how will that change the equation between BBMP and the state government? I think this is a hypothetical situation which is, uh, it may happen. It has a 50 percent pro probability to happen because either BJP wins or lose. So, only two things can happen. What I have seen in the past and what I have seen in other states, if the state government and uh, municipal corporation, which is as big as BBMP, are not of the same party. It is a bad news for the city because BBMP is bankrupt.